Va, 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 boom. You said you were going to oh, knock our socks God. off, and you did. It's like an homage to Cheetah Rivera. This will forever be my first Oscars look. This is a dress that's saying, I'm coming back. I'm giving like a, like a little librarian thing. I'm happy. Come on, she's giving us elf. <laughs> a little bit wicked it is. And Ariana Grande gave us full Glinda. Inside, she needed two handlers for her billowing bubblegum gown. We didn't necessarily plan them. Well, I know that I was gonna wear green. I think she knew she was gonna wear pink. We had no idea in which way. It's the end of Margot Robbie's pink Barbie era. In fact, most of the cast went for black, except America Ferreira. Her custom Versace took over 400 hours to make. Oh, boy. Um, my dress is broken. I think it happened during I'm Just Ken. More style snafus? Player star Liza Koshy handled her fall on the red carpet like a pro. Kirsten Dunst avoided a mishap thanks to husband Jesse Plemons. And how about these Oscar double takes? Lupita Nyong'o's custom Armani was a nod to her 2014 win. Mary Steenburgen recycled the coat from her win in 1981. I wore it that night. I'm going to wear it again tonight. Looks that had the internet divided? Emily Blunt had tidy whities embroidered on her gown. She and Oppenheimer co-star Florence Pugh rocked floating straps, which some wondered, was that an accident or a style choice? Another question, was Eva Longoria Baston taking style cues from her five-year-old son? My son has a strong opinion, so he's like, Mom, your hair better be down. He's the toughest, he toughest just... critic. I have three looks tonight. You're not ready for two and three. This is the warm-up, everybody. It's the warm-up. Let's go. Coleman Domingo wasn't the only quick change artist. One dress wasn't enough for stars who changed for the Vanity Fair after party. J-Law went from polka dots to white floral Givenchy. And check out Emma Stone, Gabrielle Union, Charlize Theron, and Anya Taylor-Joy. This was first inspired by Botticelli's Birth of Venus in 1945. Yeah, I bring the sparkle wherever I go. Give us a secret about your outfit tonight. It isn't mine. Okay. <laughs> you have to return at the stroke of midnight? Yeah, it's like Cinderella. It's Versace, okay. 2001, you know what I'm saying? 61-year-old Demi Moore was flawless, posing with her three daughters. Makeup-free Pamela Anderson donned a floral caftan and brought son Brandon as her date. Sydney Sweeney debuted a sexy new bob and channeled Angelina Jolie, wearing the same sexy halter and chain necklaces Angie wore two decades ago. Other style secrets? Very stiff, but that's what makes it so slay. You know, I want it to look like a little present and wrap myself up in a bow. Can you give me a secret about this look? Well, it was tricky to wear underwear with it. My heel came off, and right now, it is electrical taped onto my shoe. You got all the feather action just, going on. You know what? I, I'm a little understated tonight, and, and I just think I need to come out of my shell.